welcome to Atari Story 7. Now, McFarlane Toys uh, really kind of broke the internet the other day when they announced their 7-inch scale Batwing, and everyone got super excited for it. And it's really cool, you know? It's pretty awesome. I personally don't intend to pick it up because I think it's just too big, and I honestly don't think I'm going to have a lot of room for it. And, you know, like, uh, they're doing the Batmobile which is really cool. And like, I just feel like that would clash trying to put both of those together. And I'm more excited about having the Batmobile on my shelf for my stuff than anything else. So like I said, I am easily skipping this one. But a lot of people were really excited when they saw it because um, you don't get vehicles in this scale a lot. That's not very common. And everyone's getting pumped. Even people who don't like Batman because you could use this for the Avengers as your Quinjet. You could use this as the X-Men jet. There's a lot of stuff you could really do with this. So a lot of people were really excited. This thing's massive. It's huge. And it can hold in the end scale action figure so it's really cool and that's what a lot of people thought till they saw how expensive this thing was which is 250 i'm gonna be honest with you guys i really do not think it is worth 250 there is no lights and sounds there's no exclusive action figure for me i just personally don't see it but i do think that value is not necessarily in the person commenting as it is in the person buying the product so if you are into this and you think this is pretty cool and you think it's worth it you know that's definitely you and you definitely have that right to think that and you know like i said if you like it that's cool but I've noticed a lot of people going back and forth on this thing. You know, is it good? Is it bad? I've seen a lot of debate with it. And it got me thinking, there's another option that a lot of people aren't taking into consideration here. And I don't really think I've seen anyone talking about this. But uh, it was back in January when I made those videos where I was covering the Flash movie leaks. I talked about how there was a 12-inch Batwing supposed to come out from Spin Master. Now, there was images of this Batwing. I did see it. A lot of people saw it. Warner Brothers went in and deleted a lot of these. And I didn't incorporate that in my video because I had a feeling that would get my video deleted. And uh, same way with the Ultimate Batmobile, which is going to come out with Batman and Young Barry. I didn't incorporate that into my Batfleck video. But I did mention that in both those videos I talked about how we were supposed to be getting them. But how I wasn't going to post images because those images were a little bit different than some of the images that I did post. And I was worried that would get taken down. So what does this matter, right? Like, what does it matter if they're going to do a 12-inch Batwing? Well, some of the previous 12-inch vehicles from Spin Master are pretty popular with collectors of the 7-inch scale because you can fit some of the 7-inch scale figures in them. And obviously, they're a little bit taller and it is a little weird, but something like the Batwing wouldn't matter that much. And because the 89 Batman in this uh, new McFarlane wave is going to have a cloth cape, he's going to fit very easily in this Batwing because, you know, it's a cloth cape. It's not like the rubber cape's not going to mess with it. And if this Batwing can hold a 12-inch figure, and it can, it's going to easily hold a 7-inch Batman. So, if you are on the fence about the McFarlane one, or you're at least feeling like, hey, this is a crazy amount of money, you might have a cheaper option. I don't know exactly how much the Spin Master one will retail for. I'm assuming it's going to be around $30 to $70. And again, mind you, sometimes things do change in production. Sometimes they test these out, and it ultimately doesn't work, and they just end up going, you know, we're going to kill it, and we're not going to release it. But pretty much all of the Spin Master leaks, almost always they end up being legit. Like, I've only seen a few times where Spin Master leaks don't actually happen, and I've never seen it really happen with the DC stuff. It's always for a different brand or a different company, or a different license, if you will. Almost always the DC stuff is pretty much correct. So like I said, you know, I mean, it's definitely something to consider. Um, with me, personally, I still, it doesn't really kind of change anything because I'd still have the same issues as I would with the McFarlane one, but it's just being too large, which is a good thing because it should be large. It's just not a good thing for necessarily my collection and my scaling and how I have all my shelves and everything. But for all of you out there wanting this, or maybe you're just wanting this to customize to use with your other superheroes or other things in general, um, like I said, this is going to be a cheaper option. And again, it's not going to be as detailed, but it's still going to be pretty large, maybe even a little bit larger, and it's going to be cheaper. So definitely something to consider. And I want to point out, I'm not trying to put down McFarlane as a company or its vehicles in general, because I definitely think it's a cool vehicle. I just think it's pretty cool, like I said, that there is another option available. But yeah, like I said, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.